This home that we um, have purchased is perfect. Laniel Robertson and her family recently closed on a multi-generational home, something she says she was looking for with her mom in mind. I think with coronavirus and um, just how it's affected so many people, especially 65 and older, that kind of expedited um, our um, thoughts to have her at least have the option of coming to live with us. And it's a trend local realtor Simon Shingleton says he believes will continue as the pandemic does. What I've found is that it's had families reassess what's very important to them and being closer to their family. Um, having that loved one who was maybe quarantined in their assisted living facility or in a nursing home that they weren't able to visit for so long um, really made them think, gosh, I don't know if if I want to be without them. According to the National Association of Realtors, since the start of the pandemic, 15% of sales have been from multi-generational homes. Shingleton says his last few sales have involved families looking for these homes. You might have uh, empty nester parents who want to be close to their grandkids and it makes more sense for uh, them to come and live with their grown children. College students who are graduating and can't find that career that they want um, end up boomeranging back into their parents' house. Paris Jones, KOCO 5 News.